just starting off with some definitions, what do we think of when we think of rituals? The textbook definition is just a sequence of activities, possibly involving gestures, words, objects, performed in a prescribed place and sequence. Uh, this sounds very dry and dull and like things we rejected as hippies in the 60s, right? <laughs> um, but it, it may also organize our lives around milestones. We use them and they evolve over generations to incorporate our most important teachings about our communities, about our character. And one important thing is they need to be revised periodically. All rituals that we have, whether it's dating or the church mass, are living, active things. Here are just some examples from baby shower and baptism and first day of school to proposing marriage to weddings to graduations. These are all things that are not just protocols. They're not just things we do. They're things we do that have some underlying metaphor or meaning. That's, I think, the difference between a protocol and a, and a ritual. Uh, going to religious rituals, the Passover Seder is coming up, for anybody who cares. Uh, and it was just a way for Jews to retell the story of the Exodus and combine it with their actual lives by having significant foods or metaphorical foods and actions that were all bound together. This, of course, uh, became what Christians refer to as the Eucharist, which I love because it comes from the Greek word, thank you, eschiaristo. But it, it has all of these different meanings, deep, deep layers of meanings, from union with God to the visible sign of an invisible reality. Now, the, the Catholic Mass, evolved over, over a thousand years, is actually still evolving. Mozart added a new text to the Requiem, for example. But it has this kind of strict set of things that you start by looking at the dark side, by saying you're sorry. And then you have some teaching. And then you recite your creed. And then you have the magical part, or the communion. So why do we need new rituals? Why write a new mass? Well, it is broke. People don't think that the rituals we have are relevant. So I decided in the year 2000 to write a mass for the new millennium. And my belief was we need new texts, new metaphors, and new teachings. So I wrote this piece that has ended up being called Secrets, Dreams, Faith, and Wonder, which started out as just music and ended up being a feature film because visual artists that I knew contributed videos to it. Um, so I'd like to just go through describing the piece and what the texts are. And I can't play music because it's Picachica format. Um, but it's supposed to have a new mysticism and a new way of relating to each other and to our communities in a spiritual way. So it's literally meant to replace the Catholic Mass with something new. Uh, the first movement is called Jerusalem Secrets. So it's what the Catholic Mass called the Kyrie, the saying you're sorry, or looking at the dark side. Um, these are two images from the video uh, that Lane Clark made. And the text is based on a very ancient Latin text combined with an Arabic song. Here are some examples from the texts. Uh, it's not the big things, it's the small things, what people think. Uh, there's no escape from it. And then the Latin texts say things like, watch what is happening to us, O Lord. And then the voice of God saying, I know. And it ends with, Jerusalem, turn back to the Lord your God. So this is sort of the dark side. Uh, the second movement is the teaching, or the sort of the lesson. And I use our, a political rant by Martin Luther King, a very famous rant, uh, where he uses the word revolution 21 times. Uh, and it was given, ironically enough, uh, one one day, one year to the day before he was murdered. Uh, some of his text is, oh, our government and the press generally won't tell us these things, but God told me to tell you this morning. The truth must be told. And he says several times, I can hear God, or God is telling me. Um, but he ends up saying, I'm convinced if we get on the right side of the world revolution, we as a nation must undergo a radical revolution of values. And he unpacks that in great detail. The third movement represents the magic, or the mystery, or the communion with, with God, or with the spirit. And it's based on a number of different quotes. And uh, one of my grad students, Lance Putnam, uh, spent several years making the video, which was his uh, PhD thesis. And some of the quotes that are used here, which is sort of the new communion, are, let your religion be less of a theory and more of a love affair. And we, are, we know that we are made for the transcendent. 
And you are not a human being, being in search of a spiritual experience. You are a spirit being immersed in a human experience. Uh, for the creed, the, the spoken, agreed upon beliefs, I chose a text that uh, Mohandas Gandhi recorded in 1931. And for the music, I use whale songs. So again, it, the, the, the message here, if anything, is unity with nature and oneness of all life. And Gandhi beautifully says, there is an, an indefinable, mysterious power. And it's obviously benevolent, because in the midst of death, life persists. I, I think that is just a beautiful statement. And he ends by saying, I have no argument to convince through reason, because faith transcends reason. Uh, the last movement of the Mass is normally the benediction, literally the good word. Or they used to call it ite misa es, which means go away, the Mass is over. Um, here I, I wrote, this is the only piece that is purely instrumental. It's a string quartet with two player pianos. And the video is this artificial nature system developed by two of my students at UCSB, where you can change the rules between looking like biology and looking like cosmology. And so the summary is just, we have rituals, and we can choose to imbue them with meaning. Or we can choose to ignore them and be nihilists. But I think they, they have reason in our lives, and we can pass on our, our beliefs through rituals by adding meaning and metaphor to the rituals we do in our lives. Uh, this is just to end by saying, if you go to heaveneverywhere.com, you can watch a trailer for the film or a 21-minute one short version of the film. Thank you very much.